In Office 365, sometimes it becomes necessary to edit the default connection filter. The filter either allows specific IPs no matter what the case or blocks them no matter what the case. So let's go ahead and get into our default connection filter and make some changes so we know how to do that. Let's first click on the admin icon in our Exchange or, or our Office 365 home screen. That's going to take us to our Office Admin Center. Let's go ahead and go to where it says Admin Centers and then click on Exchange. And when we click on that, it takes us to the Exchange Admin Center. On the left-hand side, click on Protection, just as you see here. And at the top, click on Connection Filter. Let's double click on the default and then click on Connection Filtering. So we have this IP allow list that says always accept messages from the following IP. So even if it's on some sort of a blacklist IP address, it's going to allow it no matter what. So let's go ahead and put in uh, an external address, subnet in this case, we'll do the entire 24-bit subnet and we'll just click OK. We can also add internal addresses as well. and we can click OK. So no matter what, those subnets will be allowed. And if you want, you can put in specific individual IP addresses as well. Now we go to the IP block list. Let's go ahead and block some IP addresses because we don't want their email to get through at all. and we've blocked it by subnet. And of course, you can also do it by individual IP address, just by typing in the individual IP address and now it's blocked. So when you have the connections set up exactly the way you want to, you can go ahead and click Save. And then your default connection filter has been edited with a whitelist and a blacklist.